Hello everyone, welcome back to Hey Mathematics. In this video, we're going to solve this really interesting polynomial equation x to the x power equal to x minus 1 to the x power. And on the first side, this equation is a very easy equation, and a lot of students solve it like that. They take uh, six roots from both sides, they find it x with this uh, very quick, quick uh, equation, and they find our x. But in math, we need to solve it completely with maybe with complex roots, maybe with all real roots, but this is not a good solution because we forget we, we miss all integer all. Uh, complex roots and maybe we miss real number roots so we need to solve it completely and step by step so I'm going to show you two methods so the first one this is first method first of all let's bring these expressions from our right hand side to our left hand side so all this expression bringing to our left hand side so we have x to the sixth power minus x minus 1 to the sixth power equal to equal to zero yeah we just bring in from our right hand side to the left hand side right now we have a huge power yet yeah, the six is a big power let's try to express this as q power raised to the second power so like that let's write this x to the sixth power as x cube squared minus right here the same this expression in parentheses x minus one cube squared yeah squared equal to equal to zero Okay, so as you can see right now, we have a difference of squares. So this is maybe complicated cube power, and we right here we have the cube power, but the main power is square. So we just can imagine that this is difference of two squares. First square, x cube, first element, like a, and the second element, x, x minus one cube, like b. So a minus b square, we all know that this is equal to this is our identity formula, this is like a square minus b square equal to a minus b times a plus b, yeah, so the product time a, a plus b. Okay, so let's use this rule right here. So we have the first, let's write sum, so we have x cube plus x minus 1 cube. This is our first parentheses. The second parentheses, x cube with minus sign, minus x minus one cube yeah cube equal to equal to zero so this is our two parentheses we have a product right here so first parentheses and the second parentheses what we're going to do next and a lot of students ask me why i write it like that because we have like a, a really great expression right now we have a more complicated expression and i answer them okay we have right here the sum of two cubes we have x cube plus the second expression cube so this is our formula a cube plus b cube yeah plus b cube equal to a cube plus b cube equal to a plus b. I write it real quick. So if you're from school, you need to know this expression and times a square minus a b and plus b square. This is our first formula. And the second parenthesis, we have difference of cubes. So we have a cube minus b cube, which is equal to a minus b. And the second parenthesis, a square plus a b and plus b square. Two formulas. This formula goes right here. This formula goes right here in the difference of cubes. And let's try to apply this formula. So on the left hand side, on the left parentheses, let's start with, with a thumb. So we have like x plus x minus 1, x times x minus 1, times x square. I write this formula real quick, minus x times x minus 1, plus x minus 1 of course, square, right here, right here, square, x minus one square, and then we multiply it by the second parentheses, so right here, second parentheses, so x minus x minus one, and we multiply it by this one, these parentheses, so we have like a square, in our case, x square plus x times x minus one plus x minus one square, this is our second parentheses. Right now let's try to simplify this real quick because we have a lot of complicated elements right here. So first of all x plus x minus 1. This is 2x minus 1, first parentheses. And as you can see this one x square minus x square, we have minus x plus this one in the formula. We can write it as in a simple way. We can simplify it as x square minus x plus 1. Yeah. And right here, this one, we have x square plus x times x minus 1, and this square, we can simplify it in this way, 3x square minus 3x plus 1. So after all simplifying steps, we have really interesting and really important 
really important expression. I do want to write it, this expression once more because we have like x minus x and minus 1. So this is equal to 1. So as you can see, we just, in our minds, we just cancel this expression. And of course, this expression simplifying after, after simplifying is this one. This expression is this one, parentheses, and this is this parentheses. Okay, what we're going to do next? 2x minus 1 equal to 0. 2x minus 1 equal to 0, and we find our first root. 2x minus 1 equal to 0, and from here, 2x equal to 1, and x equal to 1 half. This is our first root. And a lot of students find this root real quick, but what about complex roots? Because a lot of students solve it like that, they say, okay, 6 power from both sides, we have x minus x minus 1, and they have x equal to equal to 1 half, yeah? But uh, in our case, we find all roots, because this is real number roots, it's really great, but as well, we have x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0 x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0. And right here, we will have complex roots. We have like x equal to 1 plus minus square root of 3i and dividing by, by 2. This is our, uh, I, I would say like second and third root. This is our first root. This is second and third root. And the third parentheses, 3x square, so the third parentheses, 3x squared minus 3x and plus 1. And right here we'll have the next roots. We have like x fourth and fifth roots equal to 3 plus minus square root of 3i over, over 2. As you can see, complex roots. So one real roots, two complex roots in this case, and two complex roots in this case. So this is my explanation to this, to this question. It was our first method, but I want to write our second method right here real quick. So it was our first method. This is really great method, but I skip uh, two parts right here. I just well, I simplify it in uh, in my head. This expression and this expression, and I write these parentheses in this parentheses in my parentheses in my head. So you just want to just need to do two steps. So, so open parentheses and simplify it to have this product. So this is our first first solution to this question. Method second. What about second method? This is, I don't like this method once uh, a lot because uh, if you have expression like that, x to the sixth power equal to x minus one to the sixth power, if you have expression like that, you can easily take six roots from both sides. Yeah, you can do this, six root, but you skip this part with complex roots because right now we have absolute value of x equal to absolute value of x minus one. Yeah, so we have like uh, it works with with the plus sign right here. So we have like x equal to minus x plus 1, which is equal to 2x equal to 1, x equal to 1 half. Yeah, x equal to 1 half. This is a very bad method because we forget about complex roots. And if you're talking about great method, this one I like uh, like this method a lot because we, first of all, we uh, uh, reduce the power. So right here we have like not sixth power, we have second power. This is our first step. Second step, we have a classic, classic school formula. We have difference of squares right here. So two parentheses, first one, maybe complicated for you. Maybe a lot of students right here do this mistake, but after simplifying, uh, like after two minutes of simplifying, you have like three parentheses equal to zero. And right now you will have like complex roots. The first one equal to zero, then x equal to one half, obvious solution with this one. So this is obvious solution and this is obvious solution. Second and third root complex roots and fourth and five fifths, this is complex roots as well. Really interesting question. I hope you understand this explanation. Of course, write your suggestion in the comment. How do you solve this question? Because a lot of a lot of students, a lot of teachers, a lot of a lot of uh, variations of this question. A lot of students solve it in their own way, which is which is really great. So this is my solution to this question. I hope you understand this. I hope you you enjoyed this, and I want to say thank you for your for your support. For your for you that you watch my my channel, I really appreciate it. I have a lot of a lot of content right here, maybe more than three hundred videos with with mathematics. So I hope you you enjoyed this content and write your suggestion. What you want to see on my channel? Maybe maybe more higher mathematics or like school algebra or like pre-algebra concept. I try to help everyone with this with this with these steps. So I definitely wish all the best in your mathematics adventure. I hope you you enjoyed this video. Thank you for your time and have a great day.
See you in the next videos and write your suggestion in the comment about this this solution and about the question you wanted to see on my on my channel. Thank you for your time and have a great day.